Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a simple, natural, quick glam. Um, I am using lashes in this look. You guys can skip that part and just use your natural lashes with just some mascara. But I really like the way the lashes complete the look. They almost look like lash extensions. Really pretty. And it's just like a simple, like very dewy, perfect for winter. But yeah, if you guys wanna see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. I'm obviously gonna put some lip balm on first. This stuff is amazing. It's not drugstore, but I believe it's I believe it's eight dollars. They sell at Ulta. It's in the checkout section. I love it. It really hydrates my lips, makes them super soft, not cracky or anything. I would definitely recommend this, even though it's not drugstore. Like I said, I think it's like eight dollars, um, and I got it from Ulta. Okay, so to start off with primer, I'm gonna go with my Putty Primer from e.l.f. I love this, this is like my ride or die. And I'm just gonna pop that right in my T-zone. And I already did my skincare, um, which I use the Kiehl's moisturizer. That's not drugstore, so I didn't wanna include it in the video. So I like to press the Putty Primer into my skin. All right, so next I'm using the e.l.f. Um, Jelly Pop Dew Primer. I heard this is comparable to the, what is it, the Milk Hydrating Primer. So I like to put a little bit of that and just kind of put it all over my skin. This stuff smells so good. It smells like a jelly bean. <laughs> Unfortunately, I still have this thing on my face. <laughs> Okay, so for a foundation, I'm using the NYX Born to Glow in the color Medium Olive. This color matches my fake tan pretty good. And a little goes a long way. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And use my finger to kind of apply it. I like this foundation because it's kind of similar to Born This Way from Too Faced. I feel like Too Faced is better, but this is a nice kind of cheaper dupe. And I wouldn't say this is completely dewy. It has more of like a satin finish to it, but it's still really pretty on the skin. Look how pretty that is. I love it. It's a really good dupe. I like it a lot. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This is really, really good. It's kind of a, a dupe for Shape Tape. Um, I feel like Shape Tape is a little bit better, but this is good. But this is really affordable, so it's worth it. And it's amazing coverage. So I'm using a little bit of medium sand right underneath my eye. For my cream contour, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Cafe. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. <clears throat> Not as much as I would usually do, but just enough to kind of give my face some color and some like definition to my cheekbones. And whatever is left on my brush, I like to go right to my nose.
And then taking my sponge again, I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything just to make sure everything's blended. Because we do not want any harsh lines. Want it to be as natural as possible. Like that. So pretty. Okay, so to set underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro loose setting powder. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and pop that right underneath my eyes. I like to use patty motion, that way I'm not disturbing the concealer. I like to put a little bit here and here. All right, so for eyebrows, I'm going in with my usual Catrice eye pencil and then the Essence, like some small little precise eye, eyebrow pencil. I really like these, these are super cheap. I think this is like $2.99 and it claims that it's waterproof. up my eyebrows a little bit and I'm gonna use the same concealer I'm going in with the Fit Me Translucent Press Powder. I'm literally almost out. I need to get a new one. And I'm not sure if I want to repurchase this one. I kind of want to try something new. Even though I really like this product, it makes my skin look super smooth, hides my pores. But I like to try new things and I've been using it for a long time too. And then to set my cream contour, I'm going in with my bronzer from Morphe in the color Vlogger. I'm taking more of like the shimmery side on the left hand. I'm just gonna pop a little bit right there. All right, so now that the eyebrows and face are done, I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow. And I'm gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii palette. I love this palette. As you can see, I'm already like hitting pan on several of the colors. So I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and go in with this color Shaka. And just pop that right in the crease. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is literally just a quick, effortless, natural glam. All right, now I'm gonna take a little smaller blending brush and mix a little bit of Aloha and hibiscus, just a tiny bit of the hibiscus, and just pop that right above there as well. And use a very light hand with this because you don't want to go overboard with these orangey tones. And then now with a smaller blending brush, we're going to go in with these like neutral browns. And make sure you tap off the excess so you don't get any major fallout on your skin. And we're just going to focus it on the outer corner, but then slowly bring it inwards into the lid. And the color I'm using is coconut. And 
And I like to go little by little, making it more intense. And then now with my finger, I'm gonna go in with the color Sandy. This is my favorite color. I used to use this every single day for work. It's so pretty. And I like to use my finger and just pat a tiny bit. Usually I like to do a little bit more, but since it's more of a natural glam, I'm just gonna pat a tiny bit and just blend with your finger, just like that. And then I like to go in with the color Mahalo um, and with a small detail of like angled brush, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and create like a tiny eyeshadow wing. So I like to start on the sides and just kind of follow the underneath lash line and just follow it up just a tiny bit and then connect it to the upper lash line. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other eye. Alrighty, so once I did the eyeshadow liner, I'm gonna go ahead and put some mascara on. And I'm gonna take some brown eyeliner and tight line my upper waterline. So for lashes, I'm gonna use these natural looking ones. And I got them from an online app called Shein, which I'm sure everyone knows now. So these lashes are definitely from China. And they were super cheap. I think they were like five bucks for a pack of three. So it's not bad at all. And they're really pretty. They're not too dramatic. So I'm just gonna measure them, put some glue on, and then apply them. So while I'm waiting for the lash glue to dry, I'm gonna go and put some shadow underneath the waterline or under the lash line. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush and go in with coconut and just apply that right underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a big fluffy brush and I'm gonna take Aloha and just take a tiny bit and just pop that right underneath. Now I'm gonna pop the other ones on. While this lash is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and put my inner corner highlight in. And I'm gonna use Hula. And just take a tiny bit of that and pop that right on my inner corner. And then right underneath the brow bone. This highlight is so freaking pretty. Like you can see I'm almost out. Like that's how good it is. I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna pop the lashes on. They're so pretty. I don't know if you can really see them. Alrighty, so after the lashes are done, I'm gonna go ahead and take this nude liner, which is from Essence. And I'm gonna pop that right underneath the waterline, just to brighten my eyes up a little bit, since my eyes are so dark.
And then after that's done, I'm gonna take the mascara again, which is from Essence. And I'm gonna pop that right underneath. So the eyes are pretty much done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face. And for blush, I'm gonna take ColourPop um, in the color Drop of a Hat. This is from the Whatever Palette collection. And I'm just gonna take a little bit and pop that right here. I really like this color because it's a really pretty peachy, shimmery, kind of reminds me of NARS Orgasm, but with a little bit more color. And for highlighter, y'all know Amrezy is my favorite, but this is a good dupe. Um, it's the Wet n Wild highlighting powder in the color Precious Petals. It's actually really, really good and very pigmented. So I'll take the fan brush first and just kind of apply that right on my tops of my cheeks. And since this is just like a fresh, like natural glam, I'm not really going, I'm not really gonna go in with a smaller brush. Like typically I would go in with a smaller brush and just pop a little bit more right here, but I'm not gonna do that just cause it's more natural. So that's pretty much it. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and finish with lips. And I'm gonna use the KKW lip liner, which I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. Just like that and then finish it off with the ColourPop ultra glossy lip and the shade crazy little wing it's my favorite so pretty and then to finish it off i'm going to use the catrice dewy um, setting spray i shake it a little bit And just like that, we are done. This is such a simple, like just pretty everyday glam. I really love the way this turned out. I feel like the lashes and the wing eyeshadow really just like top it off. Because it looks like you did a lot, but you really didn't. And you put a little bit of effort into it. And yeah, I'm really happy the way it came out. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what kind of video you guys, guys want to see in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!